Good morning, I'm Mati from the Environmental Perspectives and welcome to the Global News Monday. News is linked to soil. So basically my neighbors had a party recently and they also made a garden in a bottle. So that concept uh, inspired today's news. Garden in a bottle is based on the idea that you take a pretty big jar and you put uh, soil inside and uh, plants and water but then you close it at the top and therefore you make it isolated from the outside world and in theory it should be self-sufficient so water and uh, uh, air should circulate inside. Uh, while I was watching my friends doing this project I actually realized how complex soil and everything linked to the soil is. So that's why we are having this video today. So basically plants not only grow in soil but they also change the soil around them. So for instance between 10 and 40 percent of all sugars that plants made they release back to the soil. So they create specific conditions around the roots themselves and that uh, space uh, around plants roots uh, that is influenced by roots is called the rhizosphere. So basically those changes also support a specific uh, fauna. So we have uh, microbes like bacteria and fungi, then microfauna like protozoa, roundworms and rotifers, mesofauna like uh, springtails and mites, and also macrofauna like earthworms, snails, ants, moles. And uh, basically soil is a very complex ecosystem with its uh, chemical and biological uh, components and uh, that complexity is also a basis for soil functionality. Also what's interesting is that uh, because it includes so many different uh, systems it takes around thousand years to, for one centimeter of soil to be formed. So as every other aspect of nature today, uh, soil is uh, threatened and uh, fascinating is that the soil doesn't get the same amount of attention like some other areas like water or forestry, but soil is crucial for uh, food production and therefore agriculture is usually identified as the main pressure on soil. And there are multiple threats on the soil. So one is soil sealing, which is linked to the trend of uh, covering huge areas with uh, impermeable surfaces like uh, concrete. Uh, then soil erosion, which is linked to the actions of water and wind, which uh, uh, take away the soil from the surface. Soil compaction, which is usually linked to uh, heavy machinery. Then loss of organic matter, loss of minerals, loss of biodiversity in soil, all three of those impoverish the soil. And finally we have soil pollution with various chemicals, soil salinization, which is usually in coastal areas, and also soil desertification. So basically there are a lot of pressures on soil. It's important to know that uh, garden in a bottle is in a way an isolated system in the vastness of our lives and in a similar way planet Earth is an isolated ecosystem in the vastness of space. So they are kind of similar and they are similar in a way that both those systems uh, depend on human action for their long-term sustainability. So we can't put a garden in a, in a bottle in a direct sunlight because it will overheat and in the similar way climate change today is threatening functionality of almost all systems on earth. So basically climate change influences uh, soil management primarily because of increase in weather extremes but also because it uh, reinforces all other anthropogenic pressures. And then on the other side, good soil management is important for climate change mitigation because of uh, food production and also because healthy soils enable uh, much more carbon to be stored in soil and therefore removed from the atmosphere. So we definitely need to change the way of thinking 
uh, about soil and also practices that we apply in soil management. For more environmental news like this each Monday, subscribe to the channel. And now it's time for the question of the day. So the first question is, uh, what are the threats to soil that you notice in your own surrounding? And uh, the other question is related to the garden in a bottle you saw. And I can say that uh, seven people with interdisciplinary backgrounds participated in its creation. So what do you think, uh, for how long, how many years will that uh, garden be self-sufficient? That's all for today. Thank you and until next time, goodbye.